Hey everyone, it's the off season, so I don't have a whole lot of content to make videos with right now. So I figured I'd take a moment to uh, show you how to build a telemetry receiver for under $50. Now, a lot of you probably know that uh, you know telemetry is one of the more expensive items that you will purchase for falconry. Um, a new receiver uh, generally is gonna run you around $400 on the low end of things. So being able to build your own for $50, it's pretty good savings. So I'm gonna walk you through that. Um, first off with the things you need. The very first thing you're gonna need is cell phone. Um, should be able to use whatever, you know, your your cell phone is that you use for everyday use. Um, the only thing you, you have to make sure that it is OTG capable, on the go USB capable. Um, you should be able to look that up pretty easy um, online or in your developer options of your phone. Uh, if you can't find out for sure, um, pick up an OTG cable, um, and it is just a cable that goes from either mini USB to full USB or USB-C to full USB. Um, just depends on uh, what your phone type is. Some phones, you know, still use the mini USB. Uh, some uh, newer ones are have moved on to the USB-C. Um, but if you get one of these cables, you plug it into your phone. Um, and then plug a mouse, a computer mouse into it. And if the mouse works on your phone, then you know that your phone's, um, you know, OTG capable and, and you'll be able to use it for this. Um, in the event that your, you know, normal everyday phone is not OTG capable, um, you know, go to Walmart or wherever uh, and, and pick up uh, a really cheap phone, you know, $30, $40 phone um, that you know is OTG capable. Um, so anyways, uh, next thing you're going to need, um, as I just said before, is an OTG cable and make sure it's, you know, the right, uh, end for your phone, either the mini USB or the USB-C It's whatever end, you know, is on your phone charger. The next thing you're going to need is an SDR. Now I really like this one because it's super small, um, low power usage, uh, had great reviews on, on Amazon. I just dug through SDRs on Amazon and this one looked like a really good fit. Um, SDRs come in a wide, uh, range of sizes and some have, uh, built in power sources. Some have built in antennas. Um, any of them will work. Um, as long as it has a, uh, 2832U, uh, chipset. Uh, inside it. Um, so just look for, you know, on the specification is it to say that it's a, you know, RTL 2832U uh, somewhere in there. Most of them are that you're going to find. Um, so other than that, you need an antenna. Now you can make your own. You know, you can use, there's all kinds of guides on the internet. You can find, uh, you can make them uh, with tape measures, uh, and, and cost you essentially nothing. Um, I went ahead and, um, I sprung, I think this was like $35. Um, and I like it because, you know, all the ends fold up, uh, so I can fold it all up and, and slide it in a, in a bag or something. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room. It's good quality of materials. Um, so I just went ahead and spent the, you know, $35 to, to buy one versus, uh, making my own. Um, so it might take your total cost of this project up a little bit, um, but not a whole lot. Again, tons of resources online. Um, you can make your own Yagi antenna. Uh, just make sure that if you make your own antenna, or even if you're buying an antenna, that you get one for the appropriate frequency of your transmitter. Um, you know, be it UHF, uh, and you're going to need... Uh, up in the higher frequencies or VHF in, in the lower one. So make sure the antenna is designed for the frequency range uh, that your transmitter um, uses. Um, so for example, this one uh, is made for the 400 to 470 megahertz range, which is fine for me because I'll be using a UHF transmitter. Uh, so beyond the antenna, you're going to need a cable to connect the... Uh, SDR to the antenna. Um, 
that's going to vary depending on which SDR you buy, depending what antenna you buy um, or make, and, and what your connections are. Um, and you can always buy adapters. I actually used an adapter uh, to make this cable work. So, and all this does is it plugs in and it goes from the SDR. Oh, if I can get it plugged in here. And connects it to the antenna. Uh, and then from there, you will use your on-the-go USB cable. And connect it there. And there you go. That essentially is the whole outfit right there. It's just ready to plug into your phone and, and use. Um, I rigged up a little phone holder on here. Uh, it's one you can get at a you know, truck stop or wherever. It originally had a suction cup on it, um, and I chopped that all off and, and mounted it to here um, just so it's convenient to, to hold the phone. You know, the phone just slides down in there, and, uh, and there you go. So the next thing you need is software uh, to make all this work. Um, the software I use is called SDR Touch. You can get it on the uh, Google Play Store. Um, it's free, or there's a paid version that's $10. I, I got the paid version um, because it allows you to use a Spectrum. Um, the free version does not. So, you know, I think for $10 it's worth it, but you absolutely don't need it. You can make this all work just fine without having the Spectrum. The Spectrum just makes things a little easier. Um, you also need to download a driver. If you remember uh, just a little bit ago, I said that the chipset in this SDR was a uh, 2832U, um, so you need a compatible driver uh, to make that work with your phone. Um, that driver is available on the Google, Google Play Store as well. Um, it's listed as a, a SDR you know, touch driver or something along those lines. Or you could just search for, you know, 2832U driver, um, and it should pop up. But nonetheless, the drivers are, are on the Play Store to download, and they're free. So you need to download both of those, both the, uh, the SDR app um, and the driver. Simple enough, um, easy installation. Uh, shouldn't have any problem with that. And so when we go to use it, all we do is plug everything together. Okay, so once you have, um, you know, the antenna built, uh, the SDR, um, the, the software on your phone, everything's all hooked up and connected. Um, you just turn the app on and you can probably hear it making a bunch of noise and stuff right now. I'm not tuned in anything. Um, but you have all your features. You can change, uh, you know, what signal type you're wanting to tune into. Um, if you have the paid version, you can turn on the spectrum. Um, which is nice. Uh, you can adjust the squelch. You can jump to a specific frequency. So, you know, if, you're, uh, if your transmitter that's on your bird is, is whatever, 434.15, uh, you can set it this way and, and just jump immediately to it. Um, you also have other features uh, such as your gain, uh, squelch, you know, all that good fun stuff. Um, so essentially, you know, that's it. You set it to the same frequency as your, your transmitter, um, and you use it as you would, a you know, normal, uh, receiver, um, that everybody uses in falconry. Uh, it's directional antenna. Um, you could also hook this to an omnidirectional antenna. Um, so say you, you, you don't know exactly the area that maybe your bird ran off to. So you could hook this up to an omnidirectional antenna, set it to the frequency, and you just drive around. And as soon as you pick up, you know, a signal, you stop, unplug it from the omnidirectional antenna, plug it into your directional antenna, and then you can go uh, get a more precise location. So I don't have my transmitter uh, out here. But I can use my key fob to, to show you. Um, I'll turn this up so you can hear it. And you'll hear. So when I click the button. So. 
and that's how it works. Except you know, it would be picking up the signal that your your transmitter is giving off. Um, and that's it. You know, cell phone, uh, build your own antenna, or or, or buy you know a thirty five dollar one like this, uh, a few bucks and some cables and fittings and uh, the SDR. It's not very much. You know, um, it's less than twenty. You know, I think nine bucks I paid for my. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but if if you have a phone uh, that has uh, that is OTG capable, and you build your own antenna, um, you know you can you can make this for probably under thirty dollars, honestly. Um, but if you buy some of the uh, you know a nicer uh, antenna like this and whatever, you, you might be up around uh, fifty dollars or maybe even a little more. Um, but still, you're you're coming in you know, way cheaper, uh, than, than buying, you know, the receivers that are out there made by the companies that everybody uses. Um, you can also build the transmitters. You can build the transmitters for, I'll say between 15 and $30. Um, I'll tackle that in, in another video. Um, but this will work just fine for, um, you know, any transmitter. So if, if you already have a transmitter from, you know, uh, Marshall or, or whoever, um, this receiver will, will work just fine with that. You just tune it in, uh, to the frequency of your transmitter. Um, and, and it'll pick it up. Um, again, you know, make sure if it's a UHF transmitter, you have an appropriate antenna design or bot, um, for that frequency range. If it's a VHF, you know, same thing, make sure it's uh, designed and, and uh, appropriate for, for that frequency. The SDR itself will pick up um, pretty much any frequency. It has a, it has a huge wide range of, of frequency it's capable of picking up. So the only thing you have to uh, take mind uh, with is your antenna design or which antenna you purchase. Um, now, uh, making, you know, building your own transmitter, um, that's a little bit more of an involved process. There's going to be, uh, you know, uh, soldering involved, um, small electrical components. It, it, it's a bit more complicated than, than putting together a receiver using your cell phone. Um, so, you know, some people may want to go ahead and, and spend the hundred and some odd dollars to buy a, a transmitter from, um, you know, Marshall and the other telemetry companies. And, uh, you know, at least you, you, you save so much money off building the receiver, um, that, uh, you know, spending that kind of money on, on the transmitter ain't too bad. And, and you still saved yourself quite a, quite a good bit of money. Um, but so that's it for this really. Um, I'll post some links in the description to the parts that I actually used to put this together. And, uh, if you have any further questions you can just post in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them um, but uh, yeah hope you enjoyed hope this maybe saves you some money and uh, I'll do another video soon of uh, building your own transmitter